This is a vector's question from the AS1 specimen paper, uh, CCA's specimen paper. Okay, it says the points P and Q have position vectors P, which is equal to minus I minus 11J, and Q, which is equal to minus 7I plus 4J. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is write these down as column vectors. It just saves you so much time. Uh, we can convert it back to I's and J form at the end. So you've got your uh, P and your Q. So that's how you can write them as column vectors. The distance PQ. So we need to find the vector PQ first of all. So just learn this off, please. The vector PQ is the position vector of Q minus position, position vector of Q. Position vector of Q minus position vector of P. So that is just minus seven, four, then minus, minus one, minus 11. Now, if you do that, you're gonna get your PQ. That's your, uh, Displacement vector from P to Q then is going to be minus 7 minus minus 1, that's minus 7 plus 1, which would be minus 6, and 4 minus minus 11, which is 4 plus 11, which is 15. Now the distance, PQ then, what it is, it's a modulus of those two things. The modulus of PQ then, so that's your minus 6 squared plus your 15 squared, and then square root it. If you did that, that's going to be 36, what's 15 squared, 225. And if you add those two things together, you're going to get 251, square root of 251. Work that out, whatever it is. I think normally these papers are three sig figs. I have no calculator. Uh, you do that yourself. Okay, next bit says the position vector of the point R, such that P to R to P, Q to P to R to R to Q is 2 to 1. Let's do a little diagram here. So this is just a sketch. I've got my P and I've got my Q here. They're the endpoints. And then your P to R is worth two. So that's two to get from here and then one to get there. So that's what we have got. That's a little diagram just. Uh, so we knew what P was. We were told what P was, we were told what Q was. And we want to find the position vector of R. So to get from O to R, this is a nose to tail method. I'm going to go from O to P, and then I'm going to go two thirds of the way along from P to Q. And I think that's what we just worked out, wasn't it? P to Q. So O to P earlier on, or the vector P, that's, uh, that was minus one, minus 11. And then two thirds of our P to Q, what was P to Q? It was minus six, 15. And let's just work that out then. So that is minus one, minus 11, plus two thirds of minus six would be minus four. A third of 15 would be five. So two thirds of 15 would be 10. And we can piece that together then. That is gonna be minus one, minus four, it's gonna be minus five. And then minus 11, and uh, plus 10 is just going to be minus 1. I would just write that then. So this is my, my r is equal to minus 5i minus j. Let me just check. I think I've done that. Find a position vector of r. Done. And we had to find our pq. So the only thing you're left to do is to find that. And that is question 1. Done.